But they're rebooting Good Times on Netflix mm. into an animated show. It's kind of, um, we'll tell you what it's kind of like after you see it. But um, I don't know if they're going to let us play this next part. So I'm going to try and play it for you live. This is the benefit of being on live because I might have to cut it from the actual clip. <laughs> but I want you to see what they're promoting <laughs> to our culture. <laughs> and, and, and pay attention to who is promoting. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Important news. Let me guess. The state called and they want to cut you a disability check for your face. Hold up. You can get paid for that? This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dummy now? Me for not wearing a... Woo! Shadows fall over my heart. It all started with my grandfather, James Evans. My job as the man of this house is to take care of this family no matter what. I just want to let you know I'm going to take good care of Gray. <laughs> Juan, my boyfriend! Daddy, let him go! Baby, you should come with me! Junior's repeating the 10th grade for the third time. Is there anything you can suggest to help him get to the drive through Can you do OnlyFans? Take off your shoes. Let me see what kind of feet you're working with. I'll take you to the dark wow. side. Dear Black Heavenly Father, College Redeemer, uh! If you could just help us. Son, it's for you. New phone. Who this? At least they ain't got that drug dealing baby under my roof no more. Hmm. <laughs> man, my mouth ready for some milk right now. Dalvin, why are you so breast obsessed? It's childish, man. Bruh, I'm a baby. I can't get no more childish than that. In a nocturnal state of mind. You're a native or hood? It's a system. They put the guns and drugs on the streets. This, black, black this is getting dangerous. I won't just sit back and let you put yourself in harm's way. I love you too, man, but everything, everything back. The revolution would not be televised. Come on, Rosa Paws. Can't you just enjoy this? <laughs> we're just as good as the Evans of old. Didn't that just die no might? But the truth is, <laughs> we're the Evans of new. <laughs> Money. What about the struggle? We're black. It'll be here tomorrow. Everything Jesus. So, oh my God. so there was a there was a lot of response from the old cast of Good Times. Um, I, I bet we want we want to let you hear one of the responses. Um, uh Yeah. So let's 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 see what she has to say. Old. It was going to be a cartoon and that it was going to be progressive. It, that's exactly the criticism is that it doesn't feel progressive at all. So when you see something that, that actually is not progressive, it brings you back into the projects two generations later. Um, so Thelma had a baby. What happened to that baby? I wanted to be a surgeon. I guess I was. DJ was a famous artist. So you have positive images generations before that. And then all of a sudden you see this. I'm not knocking it because I don't know what the whole show is going to be. Maybe they'll bring it, lean it more back, back to a more, more positive situation. But when you have the name Good Times on top of that, our audience of 40 or 50 years have been really in our corner. They've always supported us. So they were disappointed that they didn't have it more progressive as the way I... Mm. All right, so the new good times. Mm. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, oh, so man, I mean, it was the <laughs> most ignorant thing awesome. I've seen in a Red long time. Yeah, that was actually I mean, hard to watch. Was <laughs> yeah, that I was mean, hard to watch. That's so ignorant, bro. That shit was like Hollywood show. <laughs> bro, yeah. the stuff they had, like with, uh, with the, the shootout scene with all the folks, like yeah. a million people shooting in the window, yeah. and just like the character yeah. and the way they talk and the acting is like. This is what people think people Just of color act every like. Every stereotype. And we're supposed to sit back every and laugh at this. Every think stereotype. About the Good Times show of the past, right. like it oh, was about yeah. a real family going through real circumstances, yeah. coming yeah. together, trying to overcome poverty and struggling and yeah. things of that nature. Now you taking that, you pretty much spitting in their face and making yeah. it a joke. You got a baby selling drugs. Yeah. You got... That's all it was out. about so so the original show was about breaking the stereotypes. Yeah, right? You know what I mean? Yes, this one is about was. glorifying the stereotypes. Yeah, you know, it's, it's well, going backwards with it. I, I think I think some stuff that people had. A, I think what he had a problem probably two things with it was Steph was Steph Curry, Steph Curry, Steph Curry, Curry, Curry yeah, that's the producer. And we I like Steph, to see that. bro. Yeah, yeah. Nah. yeah. yeah but then to see that. also, so the irony of it is that this is the reason why Good Times 
ended in the first place. Yeah. James Amos, who John was playing Amos, John Amos, Amos, was playing James at the time. They wanted to go in a negative direction, and he, and no. he refused. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he got fired. They killed him. And then the a show. year yeah. later. Florida Evans quit the show as well. Yeah, they were the ones that pushed back. They were the ones there. that pushed yeah. back against, you know, yeah. this um, stereotypes. These stereotypes, and then here we are, fifty years later, we the, brought the it executives back. Executives won, and yeah. we made it worse. Yep, and it also is touching on real life issues that the black community still deals with. You know, they said juniors fi- repeating the tenth grade for the third time, like. There are <laughs> situations where young kids have struggling, um, you know, uh, neuro deficiencies, uh, uh, and they have to go through more tutoring, more advanced yeah, education yeah. to get to the level where other kids are. So it's a, it's bad on so many levels. Um, there's a the, the thing that I would have loved to hear is how many people turned it down. Like that's what I wanted to find out about this because yeah. I wanted the actors to say oh I was asked to do this crazy read and I'm not doing it you know but that didn't happen because we see here's why Marseille Martin who has been a part of the blackest shows for all these years I'm gonna tell you why I think Jeremiah has been saying this I think it was pitched because Seth MacFarlane is a part of it as like a black family guy and kind of like their their take on boondocks so I think most of them were probably like, this is going to be a good thing. Because I think most people like Boondocks, yeah, even though it, was, it had some rock, moments yeah. in yeah. it that's like, Ugh. but it was still overall seemed like it was trying to say something yeah. about the culture. <laughs> I suspect that they are also going to attempt to say something about the culture yeah. here, too. They're using the... Um, the the imagery? the imagery and the, and the stereotypes kind of. Of to pull you in because here's the one piece that that made me think that it was the whole you know they're bringing guns into the hood and this and that that makes me think that each episode is going to have some sort of point but I don't think you need to take it so far in the gutter to get it back to the point you see what I'm saying yeah. because this is these are the descendants of the good times family that yeah. we know yeah so like what she was saying is we were on a trajectory of coming out of this and you put us right back in it yeah and that that to me is is you could have done a little bit better with that and you don't have to show ignorance and then try to blame it on other people to mm-hmm. prove a point yeah there are real struggles that we deal with that don't require us to kind of make fun of ourselves in a way. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's that's what it's disappointing. But I, again, I have to wait to see it come out and be sure that that's where they're going with it. I but that's my guess is that they're going to try to make it positive. And I, I bet the reaction is going to make them cut a different trailer. I don't think well, that you're going to... I guarantee gonna, the next trailer is going to be more positive. I don't think you're going to land anywhere good when the baby is a drug dealer. Yeah. And, and that's, he's that's carrying playing a off gun. like the Dave Chappelle joke. Yeah. 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 Okay, but that was a joke and that was really and funny. And you were laughing that right now. Really, really funny. <laughs> but what I'm saying is um, he was talking about how you just don't get out in the, <laughs> get out the car. That was funny. <laughs> Shout out to Dave Chappelle for that because that was really funny. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like you can't you can't spin the negative on a you can't spin the positive on a drug dealing they, baby. They're going to try. Who's, they're going to try. Yeah, yeah. I'm well, telling I'm you, wondering, you like, you how are they going to spin the positive way. on the OnlyFans references? How are they going to spin the positive right. on you know yeah. the kid repeating the 10th grade I, three times or whatever? Yeah. When I say positive, it's going to be it's going to be mainstream black culture positive, okay. mm-hmm. which yep. means it's not going to be godly in any yeah, kind of way. Right. But it's going to try to make the point that you know we need programs to help us get out of these things that where it's you know it's 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 the system's fault as to why we're here and so we have to show it this way so that people know that what we have to deal with instead of to me what the first good times did was show with a real story of how black people deal with things like that and how they're able to get out of it yeah. mm-hmm. and, and i just i'm i can't judge it before it comes out because i i suspect that they're going to try and spin it yesterday. positive yeah it actually is out. It's out now. It's on Netflix. Okay, so if anybody's watching in the comments, let me know. Am I right about that? I suspect they're going to try. I'm not saying they're successful. I suspect they're going to try. I mean, my, my, go ahead, Jake. Go, go ahead. No, go. I was just going to say. My question would be: Where is the moral compass in all this? Right? There's so much power in imagery. What they're doing is they're planting seeds. Yeah. That's what they're doing. They're planting seeds, right? And so, if you know anything about the first good times. Uh, Esther Rowe actually almost didn't even do it mm-hmm. because they wanted her to be a single mother. Yep. Mm-hmm. Facts. 
She said, if you don't give me a husband, I'm not taking the role. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And so here we go. We circle back, what, all 30 years, 40 yeah. years oh, now? Almost 50. Two generations, almost 50 bro, years man. now. Yeah. Yeah. And we're right back in the right same back, position. Yeah. So how much progress have we really made? Well, yeah. that's what I was going to yeah. say. Like, they're playing on what we as a society enjoy seeing. And I say that to say this. If they did a reboot of The Cosby Show as a cartoon, right, would it be as attractive to us as this wild you right. know, our culture has made pre-booted. this attractive. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, when when the Cosby Show used to be attractive to us, so what, what, what yeah. has happened yeah. since then? That yeah. in different real quick, I got to say this because um, Mark Arthur C. Phillips gave us a super chat. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Um, I am going to keep it a buck. I don't know where Steph Curry is spiritually. This show looks like it is uh, like it is push, pushing a lot of stereotypes. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I have not seen the show though, but from the trailer, it looks weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no. Yeah, I, nah. I, I think I think the thing is, you man, said there was like full nudity in it, didn't you? Oh, they're no, showing some. There's they, some shadow they, play. Yeah, in there's it. some shadow play oh, in the trailer. Cartoon? I didn't see the cartoon. Man, I, can, but I, I can edit that. But I, but I think I think the thing <laughs> is, um, <laughs> I think the thing is real quick. I think that's the culture of what we think positivity is. Mm. Positivity is. Telling what they did bad and why we still going through it. Yeah, that's their version of positive. Like they bring guns in the community. That's why we kill ourselves. It's like right. you don't have to. Grab and what them. the answer is? Okay, we're not ignoring the fact that that did happen. Yeah, they did push drugs and guns yeah. into the community. Yeah. Mm-hmm. the response should be even if they did. That's not yeah. going. That's not going to fit. We going. We going to yeah. push back against that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That should be the message. Not oh well, they did it. So let's. You know yeah. what I mean? And, I saw yeah, something it's, it's that was really stuff. good on one of the re- reviews of the trailer where they were just like, there's no there's no part of the white community that's going to let a white baby be a drug dealer in a, mm. in a cartoon or a series Absolutely or anything like that. <laughs> that's, 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 the that's the truth. truth. That's the truth, and, bro. And, the, and you're not going to find the actors that are going to voice that. Nah. Uh, like, you said a drug dealer or a, a drug dealing baby? That they wouldn't put that in a series they or an anime at all. He's pretty drug, close though. with Stewie, man. Oh, yeah, Stewie's I mean, Stewie's but, the closest you're going to get, but we haven't seen him slang anything yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never even watched that show. I but here's like a question, show. though, and going back to what you said earlier. Do, it's almost like the movie, have y'all seen the movie um, American Fiction? Yeah. No. yeah. Okay. Oh. That movie is the perfect example of when people who think they're helping when they're really not helping. Mm, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they think, Seth MacFarlane and Norman Lear are probably thinking, this is what they want. We can do this. Yeah. And, yeah. hey, not Steph, this is what this is going to be about. This is the conscious part of it. And they thinking it's helping. And, and, and to be fair to the people who voice this, I understand that sometimes you need um, in black Hollywood it's not a lot of money. It's not there. So you got to get those type of roles. No. But at the same time, no. That's you got to look at stuff of is this right? Like I know it's funny because it's a lot of comedians on here, but it's not funny. But I think it, like, I think if it, it was is? funny, yeah. it would have been better. But the jokes that they uh, that I just saw, yeah, it's it cringe. Was funny. Funny. <laughs> I just think yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's concentrated on like that's yeah. an old joke. <laughs> no man, I mean that's what I'm saying. That that's why I said it reminded me of Hollywood Shuffle. Like it 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 was really like degrading stuff, and it's like as an actor or actress voicing this, the difference in the Boondocks was like. The Boondocks had moments. They had funny moments, but at the same time, the Boondocks, the main, some of the characters in it were like, "We're fighting against this." You get what I'm Real saying? Quick, like it you, was a difference. Would you have more grace for this if it wasn't a Good Times reboot? If it was just a new show? Mm. No. Would you give it at least a, like more of a rope to see? Let me see what no, they're gonna do. Nah, I still no. ignorant either way. I, I just think they feel like. It was some just straight positive. People are not going to watch something that's just playing positive. That's, that's the sickness in us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they feel like we yeah. got to have yeah. something so blatantly ignorant to catch to catch people attention. But I, well, I think honestly, uh, animated series like The Cosby Show would be good for all of our kids. Nobody's going to watch it. They're not going to watch it. They're not going to watch it. They're not going to watch it. They try to bring The Cosby Show back. Yeah, NBA Young Boy is the number one rapper in the world right now. Unless unless Bill Cosby is. That's crazy. Doing crazy stuff in it yeah. as the cartoon. Like they were like current Bill Cosby. Yeah, let's yeah. 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 something you put in there. They gonna <laughs> and just to Sean, just to make a yeah. point, what Sean just said, you know, um, if if it didn't have good times as a title, we wouldn't even be having this Nobody discussion right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so you know, right. 